Alright guys, so I know that this video is going to suck, but it's for a friend of mine who needs to learn how to use a software. But I'm going to put it on YouTube so that he can access it anytime that he needs to, and if you guys absolutely need it, you can too. So um, this here is going to be a tutorial on how to use the LEGO Digital Designer. And uh, a lot of my creations are actually based on LDD. So if you see here, you'll get this internet access field bullshit if you're not connected to the internet. All you do is click uh, OK, and then you'll launch the application. The only thing bad about that means is that you can't um, update it. And updates happen a lot. Updates are very annoying if you haven't noticed. Um, if you see here, there's no creations on the side. You'll see creations uh, in this box here and whenever you're working on them, but um, I have three different files right here, here, and here full of creations. So um, since I juggle back and forth, uh, LDD will like spaz out and not show them over here in the sidebar. So uh, this tutorial, this very first video I'm doing, this is the first video is going to be simply on uh, the basics, like the very basic uh, controls, how to move the screen around a little bit, everything like that. We're going to be working out of the Digital Designer Extended tab. So you see your three tabs up here, you have Normal Digital Designer, you have the Mindstorms, and then you have the Digital Designer. We're working out of Digital Designer. Don't get this confused because if your image looks like this race car right here, then you've got it confused, you need to click on the black tab and then it should go like this and that's when you click this icon right here and that's the free build. This is your main screen right here. You see these lines that are coming down right here? Sorry for the 3D anaglyph guys, but I'm sorry, okay? I'm doing this for a friend, he needs it, so I'm going to go for it. Um, I'm also holding the camera, which sucks ass, but whatever. Um, Let's get started. Uh, so you'll see here you have a brick palette. This is a brick palette. All the bricks in LED are labeled here. This right here is your work platform. This is where you will work. These four arrows here over to the side, these four down here, this one over here, they move the screen. Congratulations, you've pretty much done the first step in LED. Um, so this arrow will move the screen this way, this arrow will move the screen that way, this one moves it this way, this one moves it that way. Interesting stuff. That's pretty common sense. I know you guys probably should have gotten that by now. This little arrow right here with the little circle around it, the camera will focus correctly. This one right here goes to an original image if you have nothing here. If you have a brick or something actually down in the palette like so let's say that we place a uh, in a brick, whatever this decides to load. By the way, I'm working on the worst computer I have in my house right now. If I do another video later on, I'll go ahead and get on my better one. But anyhow, we're going to place a random brick. See how the screen is not centered on this? Well, if you come down and press your circle with the arrow inside, like a recycling arrow, it centers directly on that brick. It's an awesome thing. I really enjoy it for really big, big models that take up the entire screen. So, yeah. Uh, these two, right here. The plus and minus sign. I'm pretty sure you guys figured out that that was the zoom in, zoom out. If you guys haven't, I'm pretty disappointed in you guys. Uh, anyhow, there are also mouse controls for the turning. Instead of using the arrows, you can use the mouse controls. So if you right click and hold, you can drag the screen whichever way you want and if you use the wheel in the middle of both those clickers you go zoom in zoom out if you don't have a wheel you're gonna have to use these things and I'm sorry because those things suck whenever it comes because you have to move your pointer way down here zoom in move way back up here and whenever you're playing with Lego Digital Designer that's some bullshit but whatever um, <coughs> I gotta do this under like 10 minutes otherwise YouTube's gonna spaz out on me so, we're going to look at our top bar up here now, the black bar right here. Um, we're going to start from this room. Okay, so basically you got your home key. All this does is whenever you click it, 
don't save, cancel, or not cancel, don't save, and it takes you back home. That's all that key does, the little home. The key next to it is a floppy disk. All that does is save your work whenever you have something placed down. The arrow back is an undo button. The arrow forward is a, I don't know, an undo of the undo that you did. So if I undo something but it then decide that I liked it, I press this one and it comes back. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, this is our toolbar right here. Okay, so in the next video, I will get in depth of what all these down here that you see are but just for now I'm gonna go over the basic tools up here so you have your pointer button here which is your basic always your mouse this here is your duplicate brick tool and whatever it does is you place a brick down you click on that brick with this tab selected and you'll duplicate that brick in that color in the same brick does that make sense? I hope it does, because if it doesn't, please, please, come on, stay with me. This here is your rotate tool. It rotates things. It's pretty flippin' self-explanatory. But since some people are mentally retarded and need help, I will help them. This tool right here, which many of us really don't use unless you're anal about tank tracks or something, is the auto align hinge tool. And let's say I have like a pipe system over here and a pipe system over here and I want them to bend together to align together. Instead of me having to use the rotate tool up here to constantly bend them together, I can use the auto align tool to put them together. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, anyhow, this right here is your pipes bending tool. It bends pipes like uh, tubes. You know what I'm saying? Please tell me you know what I'm saying. Like, um, I don't even know what to compare it to. Okay, this paint bucket right here, pretty sure that's pretty self-explanatory. It paints things. You hover over the brick, click it, and it paints it black because that's what color is selected right now. But as you can see, there are a shitload of colors. There's, there's so many that it goes off the bottom of the screen. Uh, bad thing is you can't scroll down in the um, little color palette right here so you can't get the colors that are below the ones on the very bottom right here but that's alright because I know another way to do it uh, this little minifig head with the hand in front of his face that's a hide tool what happens is I'm gonna build the most basic structure that I can so you have the structure and there's something on the other side over here but it's surrounded by a roof and wall and you can't see it so you come up here you select your hide tool Come down here, you click on a brick, and it hides it. And as you'll see, this little icon up in the corner will pop up right here. It's a minifig playing hide and go seek, pretty much. But the brick down here has disappeared. I'm sorry about the anaglyph. I really hate it going back and forth across the screen. Sorry. Okay? But anyhow, that brick disappeared. It's a hide tool. It just hides the brick. It's still there. All you have to do to get it back is come click up here and it'll come back but if you want to get rid of it you come and you click on it and it goes away and that icon pops up it's hiding you see what I mean hope you guys do all right the X on it right up here pretty sure you know what that means that means the uh, delete tool deleted that so yeah that's the basic toolbar up here the basic ones all the complex more complex ones are way down here which I'm not going to get into as of right now and then over here we have these three icons which really kind of don't matter this right here is the mode that you're in right now this is the build mode this is where you build everything on the palette right here the second one is a view mode like if you want to see it in a certain um, environment like a, if you make a car and you want to see it in a desert environment this is exactly what you could do if you wanted to make a building instructions for it, you would use the far one with the one two underneath it. And that would make building instructions and then you could use the building instructions to build your model out of actual Legos. The send thing right here takes a screenshot of your model and sends it to lego.com after making a building instruction. Didn't mean to do that guys, sorry. But uh, basically it just sends it to lego.com. Lego gets it and then they're like, congratulations, you built something. But since most eight-year-olds use that sort of crap, 
it probably sucks and I wouldn't recommend going digging through the gallery on Lego Digital Designer on lego.com because it sucks horribly. Anyhow, uh, that's the basics. This is video number one for all you guys who don't know. Um, as you can see, there are these other file, like file, edit, toolbox, things up here. Um, if you actually need help, because my tutorial didn't do anything for you, press the help button right here, or F1, and it'll bring you to a uh, offline internet file, and it'll show you all the instructions and whatnot for it. For the love of God, I hope this video helped you. If it didn't, you are pretty flippin' stupid, or I'm just horrible at explaining things, but whatever. Um, remember YouTube, I'm gonna be here helping you guys with LDD. Hope you have a nice day.